were presented with a well-expanded set of lungs, no pleural effusion, but there's something notable, a tortuous nodular opacity in the left lower lobe. And looking at the CT, we see a tubular branching opacity in the same area, left lower lobe, LLL, with no identifiable connection to adjacent vascular structures or extension to the hilum. This is a mass-like appearance surrounded by an area of extensive hyperlucent lung parenchyma. So what's happening here? Bronchial atresia is a congenital condition where a segmental bronchus does not communicate with central airways. This is essentially a sequela of vascular insult to the lung parenchyma during early fetal development. It's a congenital malformation of the bronchial tree, and it's the second most common bronchopulmonary malformation just after pulmonary sequestration. Most patients are asymptomatic, and classically it tends to affect the apical posterior segment of the left upper lobe, LUL, but in this case it's affecting the lower lobe. On imaging, the hallmark findings are a branching tubular mass representing the mucoid impaction of a bronchus, with the lungs surrounding it hyperinflated. This hyperinflation is due to the lack of communication, and the key is that it's a non-functional airway segment. When we look closer, particularly on CT, there's often emphysematous changes distal to this mucoid-impacted bronchus. Classic signs you should be looking for on CXR are the V-shaped mass and a localized area of hyperinflation visible distal to this mass, which is a representation of the mucosal. Bronchial atresia often flies under the radar because of its asymptomatic nature, but when you're reviewing imaging and see that distinct hyperinflation or mucoid impaction, this diagnosis should definitely be on your radar.